Hello and welcome to MCC International Show. My name is John David and I'm the host for this show. I'm the business department coordinator and also I teach economics and statistics. Every show is a special show, but today's show is extra special. And we have a reason why today's show is extra special. Because my guest basically works behind the scene uh, and people from time to time hear me talking about him, but today we decided to put him on the seat here and talk to him and introduce him to the community. I'm sure a lot of you heard of his name before. I'm sure a lot of you dealt with him before, and it's an honor for me to welcome Chad Bishop today. How are you, Chad? Hi, great. Nice Good. to be out here on, your, on the set here. That's, I'm very happy to have you with us here because I always say from time to time, you know, our producer, our director, Chad Bishop, but now we, we want people to know more about you. So let's start with some sort of introduction, Chad. If you can introduce yourself, please. Uh, yes, yeah, so basically I work here at the MCC video department. I've worked here for about 15 years. I think I'm going to get a, a little pen to acknowledge that <laughs> time and effort here at the next uh, staff development. But yeah, it's been, been quite a while and what I do here at the video department is, is far ranging as we'll probably talk, as we will talk about in this interview. But basically I've lived in Muscatine all my life except for when I went to the University of Iowa for five years and then when I lived in Chicago for a few years mm -hmm. so kind of a lifelong resident in a lot of ways yeah that's good and and you know what like you mentioned you have been here at mcc for almost 15 years uh well let's talk about okay when you started versus now do yeah. you see a lot of differences changes uh, positive things so what, what do you think yeah i mean it's been a it's been a while since people have actually left. That's the first thing I, I noticed is that it, uh, the people I started working with were still working with. Now suddenly, now people are starting to retire a little bit, so now I'm starting to see some new, you know, some new faces and whatnot. But the this college itself has been pr pretty similar. My, my jobs changed a little bit, be, well, a lot because technology's changed, and mm -hmm. every year or so I would dig up something new that I was interested in. And and working here at the college, I basically am an entrepreneur. I run, I run a series of clients, and so my, my job's changed a little bit. One thing specifically that we know that the audience might not know is that this studio used to be only half as big. So yep. that was one of uh, the big things that, that kind of changed for us is uh, being able to convince the college to allow me uh, to offer more services to the community. Well, that's, that's always good, and as you mentioned, that is true. The audience will usually see us on the screen, but really they don't see the details here in this studio, and every semester, as I mentioned before, every semester, you know, the set here is different. Uh, Chad comes with new ideas to improve the show, and that's what we bring to you every semester. Uh, Chad, I know that you, you are wearing too many hats here at MCC, and I want to mention some of them, and we're going to get into each one of them and talk a little bit in details. But I know, for example, you are, beside working here and taking care of the video production here, uh, you are an instructor. Uh, you teach psychology, uh, you teach uh, movie production, which at some point, you know, we want to talk about, okay, well, what's the relationship between psychology and movie production? Uh, you, you do a lot of, and you are well involved with activities. I, I mean, for example, uh, we are talking about, for example, the movie production, the film festival, which it has been like, what, last week or two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. I mean, so you have been doing this. Uh, intramural student activities, sport, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, a lot, a lot of things. Well, why is that? Why is it important for Chad to do that? I think yeah, I just, I don't know, it's a strength and a weakness, but every so often, I don't know if I get bored, but look for new challenges, and mm -hmm. the college um, is pretty supportive of having us write goals each year, and then holding us accountable throughout the year, and so when I sit down and write my goals for the next year, I challenge myself in some ways, and then look back at those goals and remind myself to go ahead and, and do that, and so at one point, a goal was to get a, a master's degree, and and so to further my education, to give me more opportunities to teach psychology, like you said, you need uh, higher level education to teach at a, at, a, at, a, at a college. 
And so that's kind of how that works. I'm almost, almost getting bored of one thing, challenge myself to another thing, and then, but, but never really letting go of the first thing. So that's how the hats keep coming, you know. <laughs> and changes are good. That is true. I, and, and you know what? Like, you know, I, I see like during, for example, certain events here at MCC, for example, the beginning, the, the uh, end of the year picnic, the beginning of the year picnic, you know, throughout the year also in between that uh, you are, you know, you Usually we see you around, you're busy in the quad area inside the student center setting up certain uh, events, certain, uh, it could be competitions also we may call that too. I mean, so that students get more involved. And, and, and that's always good to see at a small college like ours, I mean, to see the number of events, the number of activities that we see almost on a daily basis, that's always a plus and it's a good thing for MCC and for our also audience to know about. What's your favorite thing to do activity-wise? Out of my job description <laughs> or activity-wise? Oh, activity-wise. Like on a personal level? Yeah. Well, right now my passion is um, filmmaking, um, not as much what, what I went to school for was more video production or what my experience is in video production so actually commercial work or things where clients pay you money mm -hmm. as opposed to going to Hollywood or if you will or LA and trying to make money in the entertainment industry much trickier in Iowa to have people pay you to entertain them um, so that's why it sounds weird but it's almost brand new to me I feel like I'm only a couple years into that into that so that's probably why that's my favorite thing at the moment because again now it's that new thing that I'm trying to get better and better at. New challenge. And uh, when I enter film festivals and put on a film festival, um, you don't always get accepted. So there's that period of rejection or failure that helps you decide, well, am I going to am I take this on and get better at it or, or drop it and, and try something else? In this case, I'm, I know that if I keep working at it, keep building my networking with uh, other professionals in the area and helping students take on that passion as well, that. I'll get better at what I'm aspiring for as well. And it's a it's a win-win because everybody wins. Just like you might know as teaching, if you get a new passion, then you share that energy, that knowledge with a student, they can feel it in, in the true. classes. That is true. You are totally right. And I know, I mean, I know that for sure that you are doing a great job because I always hear about it. You know, I always hear your name about, you know, all the events and activities that you take care of. Uh, I mean, they were really nice. I, I mean, I, I remember one year when you came to me and say, hey, John, you know, instead of having, you know, the pie eating contest before Thanksgiving, uh, let's have a healthy eating well, we contest. Have a, we have some photos that will probably yeah, narrate that. Yeah, and, 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 and that's, that's really, that's, you know, that's what a change means. That's what a challenge means, is to come up with all these new ideas. And then that's really a great thing, Chad, to talk about. You know, you are the wellness director here at MCC. So tell, tell us something about that. What do you do on a daily basis, weekly basis? How do you get students, employee uh, to get, to participate, let's say? Well, first of all, it's a, it, w the wellness committee is what it is, and basically I'm the chair of it. And working here at MCC, already it, it's a well place to work. You know, some facilities might ha need a little more attention, but the reason there's not a lot of turnover at MCC, and you probably know that from your years here, is yeah. that it's a pretty nice place to work, and that's because all across the board, whether they know it or not, people are doing things that promote wellness, whether it's just a, a luncheon or even giving somebody a, a, a birthday card when they're an employee here. That, that's all things that add to the quality of working here. But um, we have a specific committee called Wellness, and basically we don't do a, a whole lot because it's on addition to what, what, what everybody else is doing <coughs> with our regular jobs. But we do some things like um, offer uh, a, a luncheon, healthy luncheon. So it's lots of vegetables, low sodium, and then a chance to get together and talk, take a break from the work day because there's not a, a faculty lounge here. And so I, I noticed it would be nice to have more formalized times when everybody can come by and, and share some food and some discussion. And then also um, some of the things I do with intramurals are exercise and fitness related because that gives a faculty a chance to get involved in wellness. So mo most literally like Zumba, we tried that for a, sem a semester. 
That was one of the most hysterical things we've ever done. Watch I, I remember I was like <laughs> passing by you guys and having a lot of time. Because we were trying to Zumba and we didn't know how, but, but we were still exercising. Yeah. So that, that made, made it fun. A so, great time. A great yeah. time. Yeah. And, uh, and I know you were at some point also, and I, I, I'm not quite sure if you are still or not. I know that you were well involved also with the Blue Zone initiative here in town. Yep. So are you still involved with that? Or Yeah, basically that's what kind of got me interested in being the wellness director. And of course, uh, maybe not of course, but psychology isn't uh, uh, about counseling or, or mental health disorders. A lot of it's just about about wellness, about understanding human behavior. So I based all my, blue zone, all my wellness ideas. Now, we'll show you some photos of a couple of them off of Blue Zones principles okay. because that's basically what, what Blue Zones is. It's a, it's a wellness initiative. And so I try to bring those into MCC. Some things like, well, there's a photo uh, of that as well. So why don't we roll through the photos? So let's uh, let's roll because yeah, I think and you're stop talking about that. Because you know yeah. I'm a media I'm a media specialist, so you you can imagine <laughs> I probably brought some photos that are, would dictate. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. We can ask John here. Is that, so. is that number one? So if he has them in order, then this will work out perfect. But this, uh, yeah, exactly. I was just going to talk about this, but one of the things we do for the wellness committee. Everybody likes to eat. I mean, I can't tell you how hungry people are at, at, at the college and in, in life in general. So uh, over the years, I'm like, all right, let's feed people. But I like to add a little sneakiness to it. And so, yeah, we have lunch, but we walk to lunch, eat. And in this case, we were walking to, it was called lunch, or um, we walked over to Jimmy John's, basically. And if we, when we walked over to uh, Mom, mommy's, we called it Walking Taco Tuesday. So once a semester, we walk to lunch, eat, and then walk back, and it ends up being exactly 30 minutes. Wow. That's popular. Wow. This is the wellness uh, committee as well. The couple years I tried to do a wellness award, not tried, it was just something, you know, I wanted to uh, offer, offer people that stood out. And in this case, that we had uh, nominations, and she won. Lakana for her efforts. What she was doing that we noticed was every Friday she'd give people hugs. <laughs> Something well, that's of that a good nature. wellness. <laughs> so here's a certificate to reinforce yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, so that's the wellness. A couple of different things there. This is intramural. So this is a couple of different things there. Depending on your vision, you can see some of the things we do for intramurals, like football, open gym, volleyball, bowling, ultimate frisbee, basically anything that's healthy competition, physical activity, and social recreation. So, John, I'll, I'll tell you when to switch the slides. You're a little, little ahead of me. Thank you. Um, basically, you, met, you notice a lot of competition. Well, not everybody, well, there's, there's only one athletic opportunity here at MCC. Uh, well, there was. And so for all the other people that come to school here that doesn't go out for sports, that still kind of enjoyed that sort of thing, then that's what MCC intramurals is. And so even though I bend the rules a little bit, or what I consider athletic, uh, we always have some sort of kind of healthy competitive opportunity for people and if, if at all possible some physical activity because this is the one extracurricular activity at MCC that specifically addresses physical activity. And it's good that everybody participate in activities like that or at least it's open for everyone. There's something for everybody whether yeah. they're participating yeah. or not yeah. is, a, is up to the student but at least it's yeah. there and so this is the video department studio so you're going to see I get pretty creative with where we do our events considering there isn't actually a gym at MCC. Yeah. Okay thank you. Yeah so uh, now uh, we'll see it now hopefully we'll the next what's slide now. next slide. So this next slide here is the reason I wanted to stall on this one is because literally right now I don't know if anybody's flipping around and going to see this, but this would be what we're doing right now. Um, not this. So Wednesdays in December, the first two Wednesdays, I've done two of these, where we change, transform the video studio that we're sitting in right now into a fitness boot camp, and I have circuit training, intervals, calisthenics challenges. It's open to the public. I, I invite the whole town because re re the reality is the turnout's not overwhelming by any means, even if I, if I have to invite the whole town, but people are, are suggesting that they want to come, and I, I, I set up and try to use that certified in personal training at some point, in addition to some of my other uh, agendas, and so I, I do know what I'm talking about. Well, do they, Chad, let me ask you here the question, do they, need, uh, do they need to contact you and let you know that they are coming, or it's just like they just show up? 
Well, yeah, Wednesday well, at four thirty at Larson Room sixty two. Get in shape and have fun working out with your friends. Just show up because again, I will love to see the day when I run out of room. You know, okay. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not seeing that as a reality because people Perfect. have things going on. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. so a couple more intramural slides here. Okay, I actually have this out of order, but that's all right because this is uh, the wellness director hat again, but I'm also a TV professional, so I took a Blue Zones recipe. This was uh, something to do with guacamole and, uh, and beans, all vegetable-based, no, no, no red meat, and we did a, a TV show, so there I am cooking. So it's a cooking show, very popular. So now you have a chef, too. Yep, yep. <laughs> and I had no idea what I was doing, which was the point, because that was the humor of it, made it entertaining, and also showing the people that might not think that they can cook, uh, that, yeah, if I can do it, then you sure as heck can go to hy V to the health market, buy goat cheese, and <laughs> some of the other random things that were in that recipe, and make it in a, a cooking show and a, and a wellness activity, all rolled into one. Oh, and most importantly, Free lunch. Oh. And not everybody always loves those two words. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Okay, so you mentioned this as well. So for intramurals, uh, I couldn't help but to notice that all the other student activities, uh, within reason, do, do usually add food or candy or something to entice students because, you know, it's a two-year college, but we have a, we have a little different uh, agenda to, to getting students involved. So instead of having the pie eating contest, which, yeah, was a little nod to your student senate pie eating contest that I noticed was funny, but also not the healthiest thing I've ever heard of. You combined food and gluttony all in one activity, but it was <laughs> but it was hilarious. So I thought, well, why don't we keep that competitive going within a near mural, but have them eat something healthy? So I had carrots going on there. We had get your your uh, there were different nuts there and fruits, some dried fruits. So when you entered the contest, by the time you were done, not only did you win gift cards and t-shirts, you also got a full, uh, a full uh, four, four course meal with respect to your nutritional guidelines being met. <laughs> so, it was fun. I remember that day. <laughs> and fun. nobody choked or anything. That was the only thing and, the dean was worried and about. And I remember Andrew is the one who won yep. that. Yeah. He went through it. He's got yeah. a skill set that involves yeah. healthy eating in a fast pace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so as far as intramurals go, the boot camp, I, this is not the current ones at 430, but we'll, we'll go through this one quick, but you can see that's the student center. When, I don't, when you don't have an indoor facility, that's not necessarily a big deal. We don't necessarily need one, in my opinion, because I can just clear out the, the student center. And that was part of our workout, was moving all the chairs back and yeah. forth. <laughs> but there's one of our circuits we do, so you can see I'm hitting, uh, I'm hitting uh, four different muscle groups right there. And you might recognize Dave Carson in the back there. He's doing some, uh, some step-ups for his legs. And then we've got a tricep opportunity there with a the chair. And then some, uh, some rope pulleys with the student. Uh, international students are always real interested in, in doing activities because they've, they've got, they're here for a reason and get as much culture as they can. And so yeah. we always have a good turnout from international students. Here's an intramural event that went real well. Now, again, I find different ways to combine all my interests. So I got a grant from the Alumni Association and bought that screen there. That's basically a big screen, an inflatable movie screen that I bought from the Alumni Association. And over to the right then, you'll notice a volleyball net. Well, there's the intramural hat. We had volleyball. So this was an event that happened in the spring. It was a little cold. Partnered with the Student Senate because Again, I noticed that students are hungry. <laughs> yep. So the pizza is actually what kind of draws people. But once they're there, then they're then they're actually excited to play volleyball and frisbee, and then and then watch a movie. You know, basically a walk-in movie. A lot of the dorm students came over, so that was very successful. Here is a photo of what I had called the chili chase. So this was a. About a 3K run, we started MCC, ran around Weed Park, but basically the point of the chili chase was free chili. I thought that was gonna, I thought that would get a few people, and as you can see, it did. But the catch was, you could have free chili, but your the spoon, and the napkin, and your bowl was over at Weed Park, so you had to go find it and bring it back in order for you to eat. So whether you know, you're gonna get a, you can walk or run. I of course am competitive, so I I, uh, I had the first two people to get back, guy and girl won a prize, and there were some baseball players in there, so I was happy to have 
ran accordingly to, to beat them back first. I was ineligible for the prize, <laughs> <laughs> but we kind of make it into a 5K, but a fun one, you know, not, yeah. not a serious one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now here, as I evolved in the, into the TV studio, this was a, a TV class. So my MCC TV students ran the equipment for the show. And then I had an intramural event happen as the guest for the show. And then we called it the perfect mix. And it was basically a workout. So the idea of this was you could follow along at home as long as you had a couple dumbbells and watch a, a show. But there were physical challenges, so there was some entertainment to the whole thing. Uh, it's kind of fun. And this is a TV class. Um, you might recognize the person in the middle there. We actually did Muscatine's Biggest Loser. So there's Emily Summers off to the right, and I, I'm the host. And so the TV studio meets my TV class. So that's a nice moment when she reveals that she was the big winner that year out of the six contestants. Yeah. And here we have this is a quick shot of just another intramural event. I just made an a obstacle course for students to run through. So you see the hurdles and uh, <laughs> my, brought my ladder out. I'm always trying to think of new things. I don't do the same thing twice, but yeah. waiting for whatever works. And volleyball, of course. And tug of war, another intramural that worked. That rope, that tug of war, simple enough idea, but that is a popular event here at MCC. <laughs> and that's the faculty and staff who, uh, well, that's basically staff who volunteered to dress up for me and get some students involved. And I think they're battling the Phi Theta Kappa student activity group. And we got a couple slides here to round out from the film festival. So right here, this year, it, the first year is at the Student Center, second year downtown, and now back here at MCC, there's the red carpet. There I am in the middle, obviously, and we're here at Strand Hall, bringing Hollywood right here to MCC. And not only did we have the event at MCC, but on Thursday we had a documentary film fest at the History and Industry Center in downtown. And there's some people who came all the way from Moline to talk about one of the documentaries that featured their fallen brother from World War II. So it was a very sentimental night. And here's a nice shot. David Lane is a, a theater director here, but he was in one of the film projects I did. So there we all are. I'm the host, but also I'm the, I'm the producer, or uh, the cinematographer, so there I am interviewing everybody right after we, we played Alice in Red, which was a, a show, a, a film about the World, World War II Holocaust. So what a great moment. And you'll see one more shot here. We're happy to say that we filled up the theater. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, what a great that. turnout. That's all people from Hollywood, Minnesota, Chicago, even some Muscatine residents came out. <laughs> wow, that sounds that, silly to say it like that's that. That's really that's really nice. First of all, thanks for sharing all these uh, photos and pictures with with us and with our audience, so that also our audience will get an idea about how busy you are and also how how busy MCC is yep. for with our students with activities and so on. Really, we always have things to do here at the college. So for a college our size as small college, I mean, to have all these activities, all these uh, events and so on, that's unheard of. So many thanks, uh, Chad. Uh, Chad, TV video production here at MCC. Uh, give our audience a little bit an idea about what you do in this department besides teaching the class, the students, and so on. So what else you do? Well, basically, this is at MCC, the department, but it's not really um, paid for through MCC uh, as much as people might think. So the TV and video class is really just an extra thing I do. That isn't really my main job at all. I would see why people get confused. But we actually run contracts through Muscatine Pound Water, has a public access contract with us. The city of Muscatine hires us to do TV and video services, the school district, and the county. So we're basically, uh, uh, people familiar with one of our mottos, we are here for the community. And if you ever asked MCC for something, you'll notice that we are, we are community minded. We're a service exactly. community. Beyond education is one of the main ones, but community colleges serve the community in a lot of ways. So that's why it fits to have that here. We serve the, all these TV and video services to these clients. So that basically I manage, those are my main clients, and MCC is kind of one of mine, mm -hmm. but not as big of, of one as you might think. 
and we're just showing you the MCC side of things because the title of the show is MCC yeah. International TV. But you're right, there's all these other things that kind of are the, the, the actual point uh, of the video department is serving the community and the, and the clients and the, and the constituents that they serve. And as a video specialist, tell us, what do you do? Um, oh, okay, so for that, you're talking about that hat specifically? Yeah. yeah. So, um, well, yeah, so video production. Mm -hmm. um, anything involving video, whether it's a real recruitment video for, for MCC or um, sometimes not as much because I haven't been seeking them out, but video is a great way to teach. So uh, there's online learning, there's person-to-person -person teaching. Video can be a great way to teach because that way you can use multimedia. You can have a script, write out the agenda for the curriculum and have it happen in a short time frame and repeatable each time. So when companies want educational opportunities through video, this would be a, a relevant organization to look for as far as that goes. Okay, and I know that you have a video for us, right? Uh, and I don't know if John is, uh, is ready to roll that video uh, or not, but, but tell us in, briefly, before John start rolling that video, tell us briefly about that video. Yeah, so one of the grants that I got, in addition to the other clients, then at some point they I with a Department of Labor, uh, is one of our grants that helps make an engineering technology program happen. And so to make that a success, they had money to use in different ways. A teacher would be one of them, obviously, equipment. And then another way was let's do some videos to help market and recruit more students. And so that's when they got me involved. And so this is, I did five of them. This is just one of the, the two minute ones that we did that's most specific to MCC with respect to the building right across from us, okay. the engineering building manufacturing tech building. So yeah, let's take a look at that and you'll get a quick taste of, of one of the programs here at MCC and also seeing what I do yeah. here at MCC video department. Exactly, exactly. So if John, if, if you are ready to roll that video, uh, we'll really appreciate that. Uh, my name is Martin Martinez. I'm in the engineering tech program with a concentration in electromechanical. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm in the program um, because uh, it, uh, it's going to add to my value as an individual um, and it gives me uh, options and possibilities uh, within the community to, you know, uh, to expand myself as a, uh, if I want to go into the field eventually. So my favorite part of, about the program is uh, the, the time it gives me to work on it on my own. The pace, uh, it lets me set a pace so that way it works around my schedule. I can ask the, qu uh, the questions that I need. You know, in this way it's just one-on-one -on -one and um, it, it, it's focused on what I want to, how I learn at my pace, so. I'm, I'm very busy, I, I, own, I own my own business. Um, I, I am a father of three kids and I can make it work for me. That's it, that's what it is. You make it work because it works around how you find it. So there's no set time, obviously. The teacher says, hey look, this is the availability of what you can come in, make it work. So they, they, they put it pretty much in your hands so that way all you have to do is do it. So you have less excuses. Um, so if somebody says, I can't because I work at this time, well guess what, they're available at another time too. Um, the, pos the possibilities, I mean I look at all the different job options that are available and I look at the, the, the pay rates and stuff like that and just seeing what I can make and my possibilities and I, I'm like, this is security for me. I, I know that I'm not just grounded in one place, I'm, I'm, I'm more open to possibilities of what I can do. Because it's based and it was built around the community, um, and then that's one of the things. That's one of the things that drove me here was the fact that you know all these companies got together and they said, okay, well, what, what, do, what, do, what do we need? So this is what it is. It's like I know that I have possibilities all around my community, and knowing that the program was built around what they need, I know that if I go and apply or whatever, I have the ability to fit into their uh, work easily because that's what this is designed to do. Wow, that's that's great, uh, Chad. You know, a video that talks about one of the programs here at MCC and also produced by you. So uh, I'm sure our audience uh, enjoy watching that video. Uh, well, as we are moving towards almost the end of the show, uh, I would like to 
give you some time also to add anything that we didn't talk about already that you would like our audience to hear from you, uh, to hear about MCC, to hear about what you do or what we do here at MCC, that uh, I'm sure everything you're going to share will be of a great value for them to hear from you. Yeah, I mean, the biggest hat I wear is uh, basically public access or, or television or offering members of the community a chance to communicate with their fellow residents using media. And so I don't know, it's not necessarily a secret, but I'm not sure if the community is quite aware that you can use these resources free, as long as that's one of your goals, is to communicate with your fellow residents, whether that be uh, we allow graphic slides of whether it be a soup supper or a community event. Um, we have opportunities to talk about if you're having a fundraiser or if you want to talk about um, a way that you're making a difference in the community. We have a couple producers that are producing things, but also we produce our own shows so that that way people can come in and talk about their agenda and, and spread the world. And so that's something that I think MCC can be proud of that we're helping make happen. As technology advances, you know, people are using the internet in different ways, but the resources, the knowledge, the equipment to produce that, as you can tell from, from, our, from our situation here, we've got the lights, the cameras, the sound, the equipment, and so how and much the is knowledge it? too, I yep. mean. How much does it cost? Well, it's free. You couldn't pay me if you tried. <laughs> Wearing that hat. You know, I got other ways that, that that was a situation, but sometimes people ask you, how much does it cost for this, this, and that? And no, this is a MPW Digital D TV specifically sponsoring um, a lot of the things that I'm talking about, in addition to the city, county, school board, all helping make this happen. It's a service to the community that could probably be used, uh, taken advantage of a little bit more. But it's on, it's just like our activities at MCC. Yeah. It's here. I hope everybody knows about it. Yeah. I try to spread the word a little yeah. bit now and then. At Film Festival is kind of a, a, a way to let people know that we have TV classes here and, and get them on campus and see what a beautiful campus we have. That's all we can do is let people know at some point they got to find it in within themselves to decide how they're going to spend, spend their days here on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Chad, as usual, you know, I have been uh, working with you, especially on this show, for almost six years now. Uh, I look forward uh, every other week to our time when we get here, when we bring in you uh, guest and introduce that guest uh, to the community. And it's no different. Today, I'm very happy to have you as the guest of the show here. And many thanks for John also for taking care uh, of filming this show and walking behind the scenes since traditionally you are the one who does that kind of work. So many thanks for everything you do here at MCC, at, uh, in the community, taking care of all these different hats that you are wearing and still functioning and doing very well on e every project that you take on. So many thanks on behalf of also MCC and on behalf of the show uh, to you and to everything that you do. Um, as we always say, if you have a comment and or a question for me, you can call me at 563-288-6064 or you can email me at jdebit at eicc.edu. Till next time, Muscatine. Bye-bye.